<laughs> Today's question is from Corndog984. And it's funny that his name's Corndog because his question is, Jacob, how can I increase my weight? People always tell me to eat more, but I don't want to get fat. Well, Corndog, um, you want you basically want to get ripped. Uh, you want to get, uh, you know, not only ripped, but you want to gain weight, but you want to gain good weight. So you're asking, how can you put on some lean muscle mass onto that bod, Corndog? Well, there's two types of lean muscle mass that you can put on your body um, because there's two types of hypertrophy. And I've heard people pronounce that different ways. Whatever. Pronounce however you want. So uh, uh, there's what's called sarcoplasmic and sarcomeric muscle hypertrophy. Sarcoplasmic uh, has to do with the fuel that's in and around your muscle that uh, helps you do lots and lots of reps. Uh, you, see a, you see a little more of that in bodybuilders. Uh, and uh, sarcomeric, it has to do with the actual functional muscle that makes you really strong. And you need a lot less of that weight-wise in order to be very strong. That's why you see bodybuilders who have enormous muscles but aren't as strong as some powerlifters who are, have smaller muscles. That's because uh, bodybuilders have a lot more sarcoplasmic muscle mass. And uh, people who are strong have a lot more functional sarcomeric 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 so that's what uh, that's what you need to understand so if you really want to I mean if you want to just be lean and you want to be athletic and you know blah 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 then you need sarcomeric hypertrophy and uh, uh, you might even want to not have as much of the sarcoplasmic uh, hypertrophy so you know if that's what you want you want the athletic build uh, you want as much lean functional. So when people say functional muscle mass, they're talking about building the type of muscle um, that is functional, that's sarcomeric hypertrophy. And it's very, it doesn't take very much of it to make you a lot stronger. Uh, so, but if you're saying, hey, I just want, you know, forget it. I want some of this, you know, some of that. And I want, you know, some biceps, some shoulders, some chests, and uh, you just want to get big. Uh, then you would train differently in order to achieve that kind of muscle gain. So let's say, for example, you just want to get big. So muscle training to muscle failure is going to help you get sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So because when you get to muscle failure, your body's saying, hey, I need more fuel because I ran out of fuel during that set. So your body says, okay, what we're going to do is put more fuel. And that fuel is the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So failure training and high rep training is what helps your body uh, to start putting fuel. So that's how you train to get just massive. Not necessarily strong only, but just massive. And uh, I know I'm not that big right now, but when I was into this, I was 235 pounds. And uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough to do. Not because of the training, but because of the diet that's required for some people. We all have different body types, blah, blah, blah. But uh, let me just get into this because it was my goal at one time to be, you know, Mr. Big. And uh, I was 235 pounds and I was about uh, just probably a little under 10% body fat. So it was, it was neat. It was neat to do that. And uh, if you're into that, that's what you can do. But you've got to eat a ton, especially if you're a lean guy. And you've already got a lot of lean, functional muscle mass on top of that. And if you're very active as well, uh, if you just find yourself to be, you know, a very lean type of person, uh, you've got to eat. And I know you're probably thinking, I eat a ton. Well, man, you got to be eating every three hours, and you got to be eating uh, lots and lots of calories uh, for, uh, okay, for sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Carbs are more important than protein. For sarcomeric hypertrophy, protein is more important. And, you know, there's only so much sarcomeric hypertrophy that you can actually do. So, I mean, you can't just cram the protein and uh, expect that it will all turn into muscle because there's just so much of that that your, your body can do at a time. Uh, you know, if you go over that, you just get super stinky. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, uh, 
what you need to do is get a good mix. So if you want to maximize the size you can get, then you need to be maximizing the tension on your muscle, which is going to help you get the, mus the functional muscle. And then you need to also train to failure. So if you do both of those things, you're going to maximize both types of muscle growth. And you need to also make sure on your diet side you're getting uh, just massive amounts of calories. Uh, I can't assign you how many calories you need because uh, and nobody can. They might try, but uh, here, here's a here's a kind of rule of thumb to stick to: is uh, every three hours a meal, and in that meal have protein, uh, have carbs. I mean, me, I was eating eight eggs a day. I was eating so many protein shakes just because. I don't have an appetite, so I, I just couldn't eat enough. I was drinking my eggs with orange juice and protein shakes, and so and uh, in order to get uh, get like that, you've got to be. I mean, the hardest work is eating. It is harder to eat than to do the workouts because the workouts you go in, you nail it, and you're done. But to eat like that, I mean, you never feel hungry. If you ever feel hungry, you're not eating enough, and you just got to be drinking water and just eating. So that you're always just like, whoa, it's stinky and just, you just got to be doing it all the time. And uh, so that that's kind of the process of doing it. So there's a lot of failure training and there's a lot of high muscle tension so that you're maximizing the size of both types of hypertrophy. And then you're, you're just crushing the diet. And uh, you know, that is where, if you want to micromanage this process, I mean, you can get in debates. Some people say, you know, you go on a huge gaining phase where you just overeat, you know, you eat more you, so that your body has every, because if your body doesn't have all these carbs, you won't get all the hypertrophy you can get. So some people's idea is to overdo that, overdo the diet side so that their muscles always have enough and maybe even more. So they get a little fat and then they cut after they gain. So they gain all this muscle, you know, sarcomere, sarcoplasma, just all up in the club and then they cut it at the end and so they, they cut down and, and uh, they cut the fat afterwards. That's one way to do it. Uh, another field will try and do kind of micromanage the diet a little more so if there's a calorie excess it's going to go into fat and if there's a calorie deficit uh, you're going to cut into your hypertrophy. So basically what you want to do if you're going to go the route of you know micromanaging your diet is you need to see you know, you'd be testing your body fat often and change your diet accordingly. So, I uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, I know that's a, that's a lot to take in in 7 minutes and 49 seconds. But uh, the principles are there. Uh, you know, we could go into the details of any one of those areas to talk about getting uh, massive or certain exercises to get massive in your shoulders or your pecs or whatever. Me personally, uh, I got I got to, to that pretty massive and it's just it's so hard and those of you who know uh, us you know that we've been traveling for four years and we live out of our suitcases and we've been doing it in 28 different countries and I couldn't keep up that diet that diet man it was just you, you just got it's all about the diet if you want to get massive it's the diet uh, I mean if you want to get strong the diet is also important but if you if you want to get massive and strong your diet is just so hard. I mean, always just cramming it, cram slamming it. I mean, just nailing it. So, um, hope this answers your questions. If it doesn't, or if you disagree, then let me know. And uh, questions down there. And uh, if you like this stuff, if, if this makes sense to you, I know that we get a little sciencey. Uh, it's not you know only exercise, whatever. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, you know. See ya.